There are so many glues on the market for 3D printing right now, but how do you know which one is the right one for you? What's going on everybody? I'm Just G and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be going over the best adhesives and methods to get your 3D prints to stick. Now, while these methods are safe to use, some of these glues and methods can release toxic chemicals and smells. So make sure you have your PPE, get your gloves and your mask so you can be safe. So with that being said, let's get to our glue stick. So let's get to our most common item, which is super glue. Now super glue is one of the most common items found because it sticks to anything and it works super fast. But did you know there's different types of super glues? Now here on my left, I have a common super glue, which is Gorilla Glue or any other type of big brand name super glues. These work well, but what you don't know is you can get a hobby super glue, just like this one found at like a hobby store or you can even get it online on Amazon. I'm gonna leave a link down at the bottom. This super glue works really well, especially if you have an accelerator. So if you think it's fast already, once you add the accelerator, it makes it stick almost immediately. But there's better options like epoxy. Epoxy works because it's gonna be a stronger bond. It takes a little bit longer and there's two tubes. So basically once you spread them out, you mix them together, you give it a little bit of a curing time. For the initial hold, it takes about 15 minutes. So make sure you have some clamps to hold it together. Then after 24 hours, it will fully cure and I'm telling you, you won't be able to break it. If you don't think you're ready to get in an epoxy and all you have is regular PLA prints, go ahead and get you some 3D gloop. 3D gloop is gonna bond those two parts together chemically, but it doesn't work on resin prints. Now let's talk about resin. Resin works really well with other resin parts. So if you have a resin printer and you wanna get them two to stick together, go ahead and use some resin and then cure it with a UV light. And for my final method to get two parts to stick, I go ahead and get an old soldering iron and some old PLA and go ahead and weld those two together, just like you're welding solder or welding a gun. Once this is hot enough, you can melt the PLA to attach it to the two parts together. Do not do this on the outside because it's not gonna look right, but if you do it perfectly inside the print, you will never tell that the two parts have melted together. So that's my list. How did I do? Did I miss something that you have that I didn't come up with? Leave it down in the comments below. If you learned something from this video, go ahead and hit that like button. It's much appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification. That way you'll know when I upload my next video. If you guys actually wanna see me use these methods, I just did a live where I put together my War Machine backplate. You can catch that video right here. Everybody have a great rest of your day. God bless you. Peace out. I'm not the boyfriend of Boogie, no, no, me, they look at my being a class, puffin' the penny, I'm drinking a drum.